All right, lads. So today we're going to be talking about the arena game mode, and I want to give you my opinion on it, right? I think it's a very fun mode, but this right here, lads, is going to be the biggest killer. And it's not modders. It's not VIP. <laughs> it's not him. It's not the modders that are going to kill the game mode, even though that will contribute to it. It's not the arena-only characters or this Ichigo right here. It's not the broken characters that are going to make it unfun. I think the biggest killer for this specific game mode is the rewards. Currently... Once you get the 1,000 orbs from the 650 wins, there is no real reason to play Arena. And I think that's the bad thing. Now, what I do like about Arena is the gameplay style. I, I very much do like the gameplay. I, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. I'm not going to stop playing Arena. And I will stream it sometime soon, I promise. I said that for like the last week now, and I've never done it yet. But soon, like soon, trust me. Um, I think Arena as the whole is very fun. It's a unique type of game mode. It's something that we've been needing in the game for the most part, right? And I very much do appreciate that Caleb are trying to fix a lot of the problems that the game mode has. There was obviously a lot of bugs in the past and in addition to that I very much do like the fact that this game mode and this is also can be a bad thing to a certain extent is Separated from the rest of the game, right? And I think that's kind of a good thing because that means veterans and new players alike And that's one thing that Caleb wanted to encourage was to get new players into this game to play arena and you're not being you know, you're not being overpowered by players that have been playing for five years, right? My Ichigo right now can be this exact same Ichigo as someone that started the game today. And we're on an equal level for the most part, right? And I think that's a good thing. And I think that's very healthy for the game. You can just get the character and then you bring him into Arena and you're going to have a fun time. But the problem is, once you stop having a fun time, let's just say you get bored of Arena. But you're only going to do it for the rewards. Then that's the problem, right? Let's talk about Brave Battles, for example. It's a terrible game mode. No one likes it, but people play it to get in third seat to then have access to extreme co-op. In this game mode, let's say, for example, you get your trophies, right? You get your 650 wins, which is 65,000 trophies, and you get 1,000 ups, right? Uh, currently, right now, for the first two weeks of Arena, so Season 1 and 2, there was actually a 6-star ticket that you could get. That's now gone. That's only for the Arena release. Once you get those 1,000 ups... Why are you playing Arena? And I think that's the biggest problem. Again, I personally enjoy Arena. I'm going to be playing it. I'm going to continue playing it. But I'm just trying to look at it as someone that doesn't maybe really enjoy Arena. But they're just playing it because they're technically being forced to because they get a good reward. And there's nothing here to offer that, right? If you play Arena, you're getting materials to match your Arena characters, right? And that could be a good or a bad thing. Again, it really depends, but... There's no orb reward, right? It's bad. I think it's actually very bad. Like, you get a 1,000 orbs here, then what, right? Uh, right now, currently, the Season League is where you get rewarded for ranking high. But they only give you medals. And the medal shop is trash. Like, so let's say, for example, you get number one. You get 1,500 trophies, right? And then you go to the exchange shop. And then you can see what you can exchange, right? Uh, currently, there's, I think there's an Ichigo for 2k. Don't buy that. It's not worth it. That resets every month too. So uh, if you want a 5 out of 5, I'm sure go ahead. But it's not. It, maybe if it was a better character, it would have been worth it. I actually think that's one change they should change in the future. Change the character. Make it a unique character only to Arena. And that would encourage people to max or play Arena, for example, to get him or her. And then it would give people a reason to rank high in their season leagues to get them 5-5. Five, five, if they are a good character. Because currently this Ichigo is not good and once you get him, you're only getting him for orbs. And you get him for free once you load up Arena anyway. Uh, there is the 6-star ticket too, which yeah, you could get once a month. That's That could be a reason to play. But then the other stuff is terrible. 400 medals for 25 orbs. Nice. Bl lovely, right? 2,000 medals for another 25? No, you, you're not doing that. No one's doing that really. Because uh, you're doing the 6-star ticket. And then also these two items are overpriced. These are reasonably priced. They're whatever. Really don't mind those. Uh, but yeah, that's really it, lads. There's no real reason to play Arena once you get the 1,000 orbs. And I think that's going to kill the game for a lot of people. Right now, people are already saying that because there's no 6-star ticket. Originally, people were trying to play Arena just to get the 6-star ticket, just to get the milestone to get the 1,000 trophies. In fact, speaking about the license too, that's 250 orbs every sing every two weeks. Now, as someone that is a content creator, and I want to max these characters in Arena, I want to showcase these characters in Arena, I'm potentially in the future going to be losing and out on orbs just to play arena just to showcase some of these characters that max level to you lads and i think that's a bad thing you know it, you shouldn't have to pay to max your character i think there's actually a very bad system now and i don't recommend anyone ever buying this more than once or twice 
Uh, just max it once when you ever need to max a character. The six-star ticket's nice and all, but realistically, you're doing it to get the materials. And once you buy this four times, great. Now you've actually lost orbs by playing Arena, because you no, no longer are you getting any more orbs from Arena. And I think that's actually kind of bad. One fix I would change, again, as I mentioned in the Meadow Exchange shop, either make the... 125 orbs that you can get a month make that lower so it's not 2000 medals for 25 orbs and also maybe give us a five star character that's unique to arena that you would actually want to five five and actually give a reason to rank high in the season league to get the medals to then get them you know five five in addition to that and i think this is the biggest thing you should get orbs to rank it high in this i think it's ridiculous that I, you, you don't get any orbs for this right i think the best way to do it for ranking number one you get 150 orbs that's every two weeks. So 300 orbs a month for ranking first in both seasons is already enough to give people a reason to summon. And it's not like 300 orbs is going to guarantee you a new banner character. It won't. So I don't think it's that too much. I don't think it's too much to ask for, right? 150 orbs for first place, 120 for second, 95 for third, 75 for fourth. You know, as you see, uh, 60 for fifth place and then 45 for six to 10, 30 for 11 to 15. And then, you know, so forth, right? You get my point. I think that alone would give a reason to actually try and max high. I personally would sweat every single season if it, if it meant I would get 150 orbs. It would make Arena more competitive too and more lively because more people are playing it. Because right now, because right now for ranking number one, 1,500 medals, that isn't getting you anything. It's getting you a six-star ticket a month, sure, but... It's just nothing, really. <laughs> That's my biggest problem with this game mode. And I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, I think it's bad. I think it's very bad that they ha like they haven't given us a real reason to play this game mode. And that's mainly because of how separated it is from the actual rest of the game. Which, again, I don't think is a bad thing. But when you're not getting orbs for ranking high, then you're not really giving us a reason to rank high, right? Even if you look at the guild ranks right now. My guild, and I'm proud of this, and shout out to my boys in Dishonor that, that are actually putting in the effort. Especially Rashud, because I believe he's number one right now. We don't get anything for being the number one guild in the world. Or at least number one guild global, right? We were number one for the first season. And you don't get anything. You don't get anything. This is just a flex. And I don't like that, right? Uh, this guild is number one globally. We're close second. We were first first season. If you go here, you can actually see. Like, we farmed up. 500k, I believe. Uh, almost 500k. 457,000 trophies in one season. We didn't get anything for that. Uh, it, it's just not good. I, I, I just don't think it's a good thing, in my opinion. So, my biggest... So overall, my biggest complaint for this game mode is the lack of reason to play for it once you get the 1,000 orbs. Now, I'm going to be playing it. I find it fun. But for the people out there that are losing enjoyment in playing just Arena, Caleb aren't really doing the best job at giving you a reason to play it. The six-star ticket for the, the event orders for the first two seasons were nice. It made people play the game mode just to get the 25 wins. Now, they, there's no room to play it. You know, if they get the 1,000 orbs, they're done. They never need to play Arena again. I don't think that's a good thing. And I think Caleb need to change that to make Arena more lively. And it just means then when you are playing the higher leagues, because not that many people are in the higher leagues right now, or at least using R10 characters, you start to see the, the, the similar faces again and again. And it gets a bit boring if you're going against the same people. So overall, the main thing to take from this, and I'm probably going to leave this in the Discord uh, Arena section as a, you know, a complaint. There needs to be a reason to play Arena outside of just having fun. Because once you start losing enjoyment in this game mode, specifically, they're not giving you a real good reason to play it. I think a new 5-star, unique to Arena, that's actually good, is going to be a good change. And if there's a reason to actually get them 5-5, that would be great, because then that would mean it would encourage you to rank high in your Season League. Season League should offer rewards, maybe 150 also rank in first place, as I already mentioned. And I think that those two changes, those two simple changes, would give a reason to play Arena. It would give a very good reason to play Arena, and people would play more often trying to you know max that character to get that character 5-5 five, five, to get the orbs every single season and once they do that that would be great but at the same time i know people would say it's paid to win but it's only orbs it's it's not like me getting 150 orbs is gonna ruin your experience right uh the guild and player rankings obviously they, they, they don't offer anything i think it would be nice to get some kind of reward for being the number one guild maybe a title maybe something other than just the flex in the leaderboards i think that would actually be great but i can deal with them not giving anything for being the number one guild or the number one player overall but i really do think the five star character should change every single month or every two months or something like that it should be a better character than the free edge ago and the season leagues they should offer orbs and then at the same time licenses should not cost 250 orbs a month it's not good the more you buy it the less orbs you're getting every single month and caleb are already cucking the resurrection schedule by giving us free characters a month instead of six so it's not looking good for arena right now in my opinion 
I'm going to play it every day. I'm going to play it right now after I record this video and edit it. And I'm going to try and get this Ichigo to R10 to showcase to you lads tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just trying to think about the player that isn't really enjoying Arena too much. They're not really getting a reason to play Arena now that the six stars are gone. And once they get the thousand orbs, there's nothing there. So let me know what you lads think. Uh, are you in agree with me or do you disagree? Let me know. I know some people are complaining about the Arena characters. I know some people are complaining about the modders. But... The modders will be fixed, hopefully. <laughs> They'll be fixed. And the arena characters, it's whatever. I, I, I personally don't mind it. I mean, look at this Ichigo. He's not even an arena character, but he's absolutely broken. So you're better off just skipping arena characters and some of the characters that are broken and everything in the game. And at that point, you're going to have a better time. But that being said, lads, that was the video for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a very fun video talking about the 6th anniversary character, who I think, what I want it to be. So a prediction kind of video for the most part. And the day after that, lads, on the 18th, we got the Bunker live stream. So we're going to get the 6th anniversary character real, and that's going to be exciting. So hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.